Hi everyone. I'm Ng Soon Xia, consultant by by days, hacker by night. Today I would like to share about Azure Active Directory penetration testing. If you are interested Azure penetration testing, you can look for my previous video in my YouTube channel. It was a few steps to perform Azure penetration testing. Reconnaissance, initial access, enumeration, lateral movement, and persistence. Reconnaissance. You only know the domain name of a company that you will perform the penetration test, for example Contiso.com. Based on this information, we can obtain some useful information from here. These are listed below. Tenant ID. Tenant name. Domains. Azure services, used by the organization. Email IDs. Valid slash invalid users. Public Azure blobs. Tenant name. Tenant is represents an organization in Azure Active Directory and it's an instance ID. You can query the validity of the user's login information and tenant name on the following endpoint. Domains. We can use the following commands to detect the subdomains of the domain on Azure. Email IDs. We can use the following commands to detect the email IDs on Azure. Azure services. Accessibility of which services using on Azure by Azure ED users must be checked. Depending on the determination of which services and memberships can be used, different attack surfaces can be created. Public Azure Blobs Detection of public accessible Azure Blobs can be performed using this tool. Afterwards, it can be connected to the store and enumeration can be done to detect confidential information. Azure AD Initial Access Accessing to the Azure ED environment can be achieved in many ways. The main ones of them are given below. Password spraying, brute force attack, phishing attacks, web application vulnerabilities, illicit consent grant attack, function apps, password spraying. There is a tool called Missile Spray which is very capable in this regard. With this tool we can obtain the following information. User validation, MFA status, tenant exists, disabled slash locked account, password expired. After authenticating to the Azure ED environment with managed identity, which Azure resources can be accessed can be done with the following command. With this information, authenticated enumeration can now be performed on Azure AD using the OS PowerShell tool. By running this command on the system, access token and account ID can be detected. After an Azure Web Service application with remote code execution is detected, the Azure Resource Manager ARM, endpoint is triggered to obtain an access token with managed identity rights. Access tokens can be obtained through the following endpoint. If a command execution vulnerability is detected on your web applications, it can be determined that the application is running with managed identity rights, whether the following two variables are defined over the environment. If these applications are running with managed identity rights, they can gain unauthorized access to Azure resources in case the access token belonging to this user is captured by the cyber attacker. Web Application Vulnerabilities Your web applications on Azure can run with Azure Function Service or Azure App Service permissions such as managed identity. The phishing link created using this tool is very dangerous as it is MicrosoftOnline.com. The related tool sends the access token information of the user to the cyber attacker by post method and the token information of the user is captured. Phishing attacks. A phishing link can be created with the open redirect vulnerability created using the 365 Stealer tool Microsoft domain. By sending this phishing link to Azure AD users, the access token information of the user can be obtained. Azure AD, enumeration. After gain the initial access is obtained in Azure AD belonging to the target organization, the first goal to be carried out is the information gathering and enumeration step. The following tools can be used to do this on Azure AD. Storm Spotter, Bloodhound, Row Tools, Authentication via CLI, OS CLI, OS PowerShell, Azure AD, Enumeration with Azure PowerShell, User Enumeration, Group enumeration. Get a new access token. We can use the following commands to enumerate user, group and get a new access token on Azure. Azure AD. Lateral movement. 
after the first access on Azure AD is obtained, the next goal for the cyber attacker is the attacks we call lateral movement. At this stage, the cyber attacker tries to access different resources on Azure AD with the access token information of the user it has accessed and aims to capture the access token information of a more authorized user. There are many different control steps for this. Azure Resources Role Assignment Runbook PowerShell History Automation Account ARM Templates User Data Custom Script Extension Azure VMs Hybrid Joint Primary Refresh Token PRT Azure Resources and Runbook Let's assume that in the initial access part, we obtain the access token information of a user with managed identity rights over the web application. With the token information we obtained, we are authenticated to the Azure AD environment using the OS PowerShell tool. Then we check which Azure resources the user we obtained can access. As seen in the screenshot, we have the permission on automation accounts with the access token information we have gained access to. Now we have the opportunity to access the password information of the admin or users with different privileges on the existing runbook scripts, PowerShell, Python etc. With the necessary permissions on the automation account service, we have the required permission on perform to export, import, publish, start the existing runbook scripts. In this way, the cyber attacker can run a malicious PowerShell script and obtain initial access on this system, especially if hybrid worker is defined on Azure AD and can obtain a session on a pre-premium system from the cloud structure. PowerShell History If you are a system administrator and you are operating on Azure AD using the PowerShell terminal, you should make sure that you terminate your session safely. System administrators perform operations on Azure AD using the following tools with a PowerShell session. OS PowerShell OS CLI A user with who has an access token can perform operations on Azure AD using the following way. The session information of the user authenticated in this way is kept by OS PowerShell in the token cache.dat file on C colon backslash users backslash username backslash dot Azure. Access token information is kept as clear text in this file path. In order to get ahead of this, the Azure AD session must be finished with a disconnect OS account command in a healthy way. If you do not log off properly after using these tools, access token information will be obtained by cyber attackers. When using the OS CLI tool, the access token information is available as clear text in the access tokens.json file on the C colon backslash users backslash username backslash dot Azure file path. In order to bypass this, the relevant session must be terminated with OS logout command. Azure AD Persistence A cyber attacker who gained an authorized user account with lateral movement attacks on Azure AD can be persistent using different techniques to gain access to Azure AD at any time. PowerShell History If you are a system administrator and you are operating on Azure AD using the PowerShell terminal, you should make sure that you terminate your session safely. System administrators perform operations on Azure AD using the following tools with a PowerShell session. OS PowerShell OS CLI A user with who has an access token can perform operations on Azure AD using the following way. The session information of the user authenticated in this way is kept by OS PowerShell in the token cache.dat file on C colon backslash users backslash username backslash dot Azure. Access token information is kept as clear text in this file path. In order to get ahead of this, the Azure AD session must be finished with a disconnect OS account command in a healthy way. If you do not log off properly after using these tools, access token information will be obtained by cyber attackers. When using the OS CLI tool, the access token information is available as clear text in the access tokens.json file on the C colon backslash users backslash username backslash dot Azure file path. In order to bypass this, the relevant session must be terminated with OS logout command. That all about Azure Active Directory Fundamental Penetration Testing. Thank you.